You think you know the world's best-selling car. You see it on every corner. You park next to it. You probably own one. You saw the 2025 Project Juniper refresh. You nodded. Nice lights. Cool new interior. You thought you were looking at an update. You were wrong. What you really saw was a distraction. A calculated misdirection. A mask. While the world was busy looking at a simple facelift, Tesla's most advanced factory was secretly building a completely different vehicle. Something bigger. Something more luxurious. Something that signals a fundamental crack in Tesla's one-size-fits-all empire. This isn't an update. It's a coup. A new machine built for a new war. This is the 2026 Tesla Model Y L. You're about to see the car you thought you knew become obsolete. Wait, what? Yes, the real story is here. If you're ready to see what's really been happening inside Tesla, hit that like button and subscribe to Dravexa. We are pulling back the curtain now. Before you can grasp the L, you need to get the Juniper. This is the 2026 Model Y, the global refresh. This wasn't a total teardown. Think of it as a huge quality of life patch. The core skateboard, the battery, that all stayed familiar. Juniper was all about fixing the weak spots, making the strong points even stronger. The first thing you noticed was the outside. The entire face was sharpened. It stole those slim, aggressive Matrix LED headlights from the Model 3 Highland. The bumper was slicker, cutting through the air. That means less noise and more range. Out back, new C-shaped taillights gave it a signature you couldn't miss. But the real fix was the one you felt. Remember the noise? The old Model Y could be loud. Tesla finally listened. They put acoustic glass on all the windows. They stuffed in better sound deadening. They tightened the seals. The cabin went from a drum to a sanctuary. Inside, you got ventilated seats, a new textile dash, and that cool ambient LED strip that wraps around the cabin. And for your passengers, they finally got that 8-inch rear screen, climate, entertainment, all in the back. The main 15.4-inch screen looked the same, but you could feel the upgraded hardware. It was just faster. This new Juniper was the baseline, quieter, more premium, a solid upgrade. You might think this was the final form, but for the engineers at Giga Shanghai, this was just the first step. The L. It stands for long, and it changes everything. This is not the tiny cramped third row option you've seen before. This isn't an afterthought. This is a new body, a stretched, re-engineered platform. It's a true luxury people mover, a matter of millimeters that make a mile of difference. How big a change are we talking? This is substantial. The L is 7 inches longer, 179 millimeters. The wheelbase, the space between the wheels, is stretched 5.9 inches, 150 millimeters. The roof is 2 inches taller, 50 millimeters. This is not a subtle tweak. That nearly 6 inch stretch, it all goes right where you need it the passenger compartment. That extra space is the key. It's what unlocks the L's entire purpose. The taller roof, that means you can actually sit in the back without cramping your neck. The six-seat revolution. If you're looking for the crown jewel, this is it. Forget the cramped 232 bench. Tesla ripped it out. They opted for a luxury 2 plus 2 plus 2 layout. Six captain's chairs. This one decision pivots the Model Y. It's no longer just a family SUV, it's a multi-passenger executive transport. Look at that second row. The bench is gone. Instead, you get two power-adjustable captain's chairs. These aren't standard seats. They are heated. They are ventilated. They have powered armrests. They slide forward and back. You can fine-tune your legroom or give more space to the person behind you. And look at the space between them. It creates a wide-open walkway. An aisle. No more folding. No more squeezing. No more tumble acrobatics. You just walk to the back. That walkway takes you to the real beneficiary, the third row.
Thanks to that long wheelbase and high roof, these are not kids-only penalty seats. You can fit actual adults back here, and they get their own air vents, their own USB-C ports. When you don't need them, they fold perfectly flat, cavernous cargo. The premium tech. To seal the deal, Tesla didn't stop there. Your main display? It's now a massive 16-inch touchscreen. It just feels more immersive. The sound system? Upgraded. You get an 18-speaker premium audio system tuned to fill this larger cabin. You combine that with the Juniper sound deadening, and this Model YL becomes a true mobile listening lounge. This is a completely new class of Tesla. We're breaking down all these exclusive features, so if you're enjoying this deep dive, do us a favor and hit that like button. It really helps Drivexa reach more viewers. So you see this stretched out six seat luxury pod and you think it's a boat, right? You think Tesla had to kill the performance. You'd be wrong. This is not a luxury barge. This is a rocket ship in disguise. The Tesla DNA is fully intact. We're talking dual motor all wheel drive, 456 horsepower, and it launches this three row SUV from zero to 62 miles per hour in 4.5 seconds. Think about that. A 4.5 second sprint in a vehicle built for comfort. It's carrying an extra 211 pounds, but you will never ever feel it. It's just as sharp as its smaller sibling. The heart of this machine is an 82 kilowatt hour battery pack. And this is what powers the vehicle's most impressive and most misleading statistic. You will see one number advertised, 751 kilometers, 466 miles. It looks incredible, but you need to know there is a catch. We call it the CLTC problem. That number comes from China's specific test cycle. And to be blunt, it's a fantasy. It is famously optimistic. You cannot compare that number to the EPA standard in America or the WLTP in Europe. Let's put it in perspective. The standard Model Y gets a 753 kilometer rating on that same CLTC test. But what does the US EPA rate that exact same car? 327 miles. Now you know the Model Y L is heavier, it's taller, it's pushing more air. So what's the real number, the one you'd actually get? If it were tested today, you'd be looking at a much more realistic 300 to 315 miles. That is still a fantastic, highly usable range for a six-seat SUV. But it's the honest number. We're always digging for the truth behind the marketing hype. It's what we do here at Drivexa. If you appreciate that, do us a favor and hit that subscribe button. So you see this bigger, badder Model Y. You might think it's just an engineering flex, an upgrade. But you'd be missing the real story. This isn't a car. It's a counterattack, a masterstroke of strategy. The biggest question is, why China? Why launch this game changer in one single market? You have to understand the battlefield in China is different. Here, drivers don't just want a five-seat crossover. They have multi-generational families. They need to move kids, parents, and grandparents. And there's a massive chauffeur culture. The back seat matters a lot. This created a huge gaping hole in Tesla's lineup. Your standard Model Y? Too small. The Model X? Way too expensive. And into that gap flooded a new wave of hungry domestic rivals. You've heard the names. Li Auto, BYD, Xpeng. They were building these massive, feature-packed, six-seat luxury lounges on wheels. And they were winning. So the L in Model Y L, it doesn't just stand for long. It stands for Li Auto. This is Tesla's Li Auto Killer. It's a direct assault, proving they can compete on luxury and space, all while backed by that legendary Tesla manufacturing efficiency. But why not launch it everywhere, all at once? Manufacturing. You can't just stretch a car. 
you need a new body, new tooling, new assembly lines. It is an absolute nightmare of complexity. And Giga Shanghai is the only factory that could pull it off this fast. It's Tesla's most agile, most efficient plant, the perfect proving ground to pilot this new weapon. Which brings us to the one question you really care about. Will it ever come to North America or Europe? You can bet this is the fiercest debate inside Tesla right now. The case for it is almost too obvious. Think about that $30,000 chasm between the $50,000 Model Y and the $80,000 Model X. The L fits that gap perfectly. It would be the ultimate mass market competitor to the Kia EV9, the Hyundai Ioniq 7, and the Rivian R1S. It's the anti minivan you've been waiting for. All the space, all the tech, zero compromise. But there's a powerful case against it, and it's a big one. It's called the Model X. Ask yourself would you still buy that $80,000 aging Model X? when a $60,000 Model Y L gives you 90% of the utility minus the fancy doors. It would devastate Model X sales. It's called cannibalization. And then you have the factories. Fremont and Berlin are not Shanghai. Ramping up this new body could be a costly, painful distraction. This is the strategic battle we'll be watching. The decision is coming. Make sure you're subscribed to Dravexa because we'll be the first to break it down when that news finally drops. So what is the 2026 Model Y L? You need to understand, this is far more than just a long Model Y. This is the first crack in the armor. It's the first glimpse of a new, more mature Tesla. It's a raw admission. An admission that the one-size-fits-all playbook that launched them into the stratosphere, it isn't enough to win the next decade. The Model Y L is a precision weapon, a scalpel. It was designed for one battlefield, China. It was built to fight one set of enemies, Lee Auto and BYD. And it proves Tesla can be agile. It proves they can listen and pivot to fight on new fronts, not just range and tech, but luxury and space. And the result? The what if? It is no longer a what if. In China, it is an absolute monster. It's sold out for months within days. It's already the fourth best-selling large SUV in the entire market after just its first month. It is a runaway success. So the question is no longer if it will work. The only question is, will you ever get one? The success is proven. The demand is obvious. But this L model remains a ghost, an object of desire just outside our grasp. Will Tesla finally give North America and Europe the true six-seat crossover we didn't even know we were waiting for? Or will this remain a tantalizing glimpse of what could have been? We'll be here to tell you the moment that changes. Until then, thank you for watching Dravexa.